to and lends to the over-sexualization of black women. Now listen, if they would have listened to the interview, people would have gotten that. Brothers, y'all are sending these messages out. You haven't even listened to the interview, like this one. Can I read this? Yep. Someone just texted me from the 216 area code. Peace. I was on YouTube and someone said, you're working with Tommy Sotomayor. Is this true? And if so, what are you working on? With respect, I can't get with that nigga at all. Okay, peace and love. Okay, 216, whoever you are, if you can't get with him, that is your business. Yeah, I don't know who you get with. I don't know you. All right? But I really appreciate you texting me and asking me that question. So now I can, I, now I can address it to the people that's listening to this broadcast. Mm-hmm. Tommy Sotomayor, whatever y'all think of him is what y'all think of him. All right? I worked with Tommy Sotomayor on a project dealing with black men and fatherhood to save our sons. Yep, that's right. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Process that. I'm working with, well, I worked with Tommy Sotomayor. All right? Um, on a project, a film project about black fatherhood to save our sons. I think that's very admirable. I think it's very uplifting that the brother would to do a project like that. And I would work with um, anyone on a project to do like that. What Tommy Sotomayor says and does is not on my radar. I'm not there. I don't really listen to Tommy like that. One thing Tommy did say that did resonate with me to the degree where it got on my nerves. And you can call Tommy right now and ask him. I checked him hard. I said, brother, you out your mind. If you think I'm going to sit back and let you talk about Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, this was, this was when Tommy was going back and forth with Tariq Nasheed. I said, no, bro, I can't work with you. What you talking about the elder? If you offer an apology, mm-hmm. then of course, of course we could talk about working together. But until then, I, I, nah, bro, one thing I got for you is some bars, for real. So 216, that's what I'm working with Tommy on. All right. Tommy was gracious enough. I said, Tommy, just get me the plane ticket. You ain't got to pay me, bro, because I don't, I don't operate that way. Mm-hmm. And, and people that know me, know me know that I don't, I don't take money like that from people. Tommy uh, uh, offered to fly me to L.A., to fly me to Oakland, to fly me back to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Hotel, here's some chump change, go get something to eat, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you in the morning, Griff. Let's go to work. Let's do what we do. Mm-hmm. And, and we did it. I love the brother for that. Whatever gr- uh, gripe y'all have against Tommy, y'all got to take it up with Tommy. Tommy's a man. I'm not his defense attorney. Whatever. Now, in the same breath, I would have done the same thing and did the same thing for Tariq Nasheed if he didn't fake in front on the in Hidden Colors joint. I did two interviews on his show. Thank you, Tariq Nasheed. I really appreciate that. You asked me, Tariq, to be in Hidden Colors. I agreed. I never heard back from you. Not a plane ticket. Not a Japanese money order, a thin dime, nothing. Nothing. I didn't get mad and throw temper tantrums and whatnot. I said, okay, if he wanted Karis one or Nas or somebody to be on it, bro, that's your thing. That's not my thing, but I did wait on your call. Ain't no love lost. I still love you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I do think I had something to offer to the Hidden Colors um, thing. But some people say, well, hi, one breath, you're going to say he's pimping and macking and you're going to be in Hidden Colors. I said, wait a minute. I knew about the pimp Mackin thing um, when I was on his show. <laughs> mm. So I'm trying to understand that dynamic. I know some things that Tommy said when I went and flew to L.A. to do the film with him. Did me and Tommy talk about that in private? Yes. That's what men do. I'm not in the business of calling people out like that. Of course, I would have got with Tariq Nasheed and mentioned it. But the thing uh, about Tariq Nasheed was the fact that he was doing the Hidden Colors thing. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm not trying to interrupt his cash flow or whatever he's doing. I'm concerned about macking and pimping mentality and bringing that over into the conscious community, which by his own admission, don't give a fuck about the conscious community. Yeah. By his own admission. Oh, we're going to play that. Okay, so I was just concerned about, and please, Tariq Nasheed, listen. This is my whole premise, bro. I'm just concerned about... The conscious community, which I'm a part of, being pimped by Max and players and pimps. That's my concern. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
And I'm concerned about the elders that's lending their energy and their effort, exactly. their name and their faces to a project they have no idea. headed by someone that's constantly perpetuating this particular Mac pimp player kind of vibration. And we, you know, you're that's married it. now, you got children. We love that. That's great. Respect all women the way you want. You want your wife respected. You need to say that again. Respect all women the way you want your wife respected. Hold it now. Ha, 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 ha.